Hey you guys, it's Sonic Next here, and in today's video, we're going to be teaching uh, some of you how to get uh, stretched res on Linux when it comes to playing games. As I know, there is a lot of uh, gamers out there that uh, play a lot of competitive FPS shooters, and well, a lot of competitive FPS shooters do work on Linux, and a lot of people like to use, uh, you know, pretty, not odd necessarily, but just particular resolutions that often struggle in a lot of games running under Linux you can't actually like you know because I know on Windows when you try to do stretch resolution what you have to do is you have to set your monitor to like a very um, weird custom resolution usually and then your game will be stretched but on Linux you can't really do that I know you can do it in X11 where you can create custom resolutions but when it comes to using it under Wayland uh, this is where you might get into some issues you might be like well I guess it just doesn't work well there is a particular tool that you can use on Linux that is used on the Steam Deck it's actually the main thing that gets um, games launching uh, through a compositor on the Steam Deck so it actually shows up on your your screen on your Steam Deck and this tool is called GameScope now if we go to GameScope's uh, GitHub page uh, and you can ex explain what it says here it says GameScope the micro compositor formerly known as Steam Comp M GR it is an embedded session use, use case. Gamescope does the same thing as Steam Comp, but with less extra copies and latency. It's getting game frames through Wayland by the by way of X Wayland, so there's no copy within X itself before it gets the frame. It can use DRM slash KMS to directly flip game frames to the screen, even when stretching or when notifications are up, removing another copy. When it, when it does need to composite with the GPU, it does with async Vulkan compute, I meaning you get to see your frame quick, even if the game already has the GPU busy within the next frame. So basically, uh, that's what Gamescope is. It's a micro compositor. If you don't know what a compositor is, well, it's just literally just what controls your displays, basically, into what things like spawn and and like interacts with your GPU and such. And so what this is, is a micro version of that. So you're basically gonna be running a second compositor within your compositor that you already have on your desktop. If you're running something like KD Plasma, then your Wayland compositor will be um, Kwin. If it's GNOME, then it's, um, it is going to be uh, Mata. And so when you launch GameScope with the commands that I'll teach you today, uh, yeah, it's basically going to spawn another Wayland compositor, but it's a micro compositor. So it's just like a smaller version, but it just does like usually one thing that you tell it to do and it, it tries to do that. And one of the things that you can do in GameScope is uh, doing stretched resolution. Now you may be thinking, uh, well, how do I install GameScope? Well, installing GameScope is pretty damn easy. You would just go to either the terminal or to your um, store and you would just search up GameScope and then find the package. So for me, I'm gonna use the terminal. Actually, we can use um, Octopi, which is a um, GUI store for um, Arch-based distros. It's very easy to use. And we can just search up GameScope and I have a decent amount of packages here. Uh, we have one from Extras and then we have the Cache's OS uh, version, which might have some little extra things for, um, I guess, working with KD Plasma or any other patches that it wants to improve on the GameScope thing. And then you can also install the um, session, which is um, basically gonna launch it into a Steam big picture mode or kind of like the Steam OS mode. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's the Steam OS big picture mode, like the Steam Deck. Uh, and that's actually um, really handy, I would say, uh, when using that, it did work, but it did launch in my other monitor. So that was one issue that I had and I couldn't move it to my other main monitor. That was the only issue I had with it, but it is really cool that that does exist. So if you do have, I guess, like one monitor or something and you want to use a Steam Deck uh, big picture mode then you can just use the GameScope session and then all oh, the GameScope session uh, Steam version and then you can just um, log in as a GameScope session with like a Steam big picture mode and of course I'll link this down below so you can read through um, some of the things here like the keyboard shortcuts which I'll explain further because sometimes uh, games will launch and they'll launch in a window mode and you'll have to do the super F which is just your Windows key plus F 
F to toggle full screen, or if you want to do like, you know, toggle FSR upscaling. Like there's a lot more things that you can do in game scope, even things like HDR. If you want to muck around with experimental HDR, then using game scope is one way of doing that. And then it shows here that uh, some examples of uh, what you have to do. So what you do is uh, you go to the game that you want to use stress resolution, right? Or if you just want to use game scope. So for me, I'm going to test Counter-Strike 2. We're going to test Apex Legends. I'm pretty sure I'm going to test Halo Infinite also, even though that looks weird as hell when it's stretch resolution. And we're going to test Overwatch 2 also. And if we go to properties on our launch options, you can see we already have a uh, game scope uh, launch option there that I have uh, created. And uh, just a warning, I would say that game scope is uh, pretty manual when it comes to using it on the desktop. You do have to type launch commands and you do have to look at the um, you know the help commands in the terminal because you will have to open the, uh, open up the terminal because this documentation hasn't been updated fully um, so you will have to open up your terminal and just look through some of the um, help commands so you get a better understanding of uh, what gamescope can uh, do for you so i guess that what, that's what we'll do is we'll open up our terminal here and we will do game scope um, help or um, space dash dash help and then as you can see we have a bunch of commands that we can include so if we just have a read through here we do have the um you know dash w and dash h uh, which is the output and uh output width and output height and what basically that means is you're telling game scope what your monitor size is or what the game should open as when it comes to a window so that it um, fits your screen properly and you can do basically any resolution you want and it will try to launch it um, so for me it would be 1920 by 1080 but the thing is you don't need to do the capital w and h for the output because if we just do the nested uh, width and height which is a lowercase w and h this is the resolution that is inside of the game so basically what you're telling the game to be when it comes to the resolution within Wayland if that makes sense while the capital will be the window that you'll see when it expands on your monitor but the thing is that you don't need to do the capital W and H if you just do the lower um, case W and H slash nested version um, that will basically just work properly because you'll just do either super F and it will just full screen to your monitor um, or it will just full screen um, automatically and you won't have to do the you know, super plus F to full screen it. And so if we just look at our launch commands here, we can see here that I'm trying to use a 1280 by 960 resolution, which is a common stretched resolution that is used in CS or CS2, you know, that's what it's actually called now. And then what we add is the um, dash capital S stretch, which is one um, command right here, which which will stretch the resolution. If you don't add this launch option, then it's going to launch in 1280 by 960 and it won't stretch it. So it'll just look like a really weird four by three um, aspect ratio. And it'll just, you know, unless you really like that, then you can remove this and play with 1280 by 960. Uh, but you know, adding this will stretch the resolution. And then the dash F, uh, which means it's going to full screen or it's going to try and full screen for you. And then the dash E is the Steam integration. So the overlay that comes up on Steam, uh, this is the launch command that you need to use for it. Now the dash E for the Steam integration currently doesn't work properly. There is a bug open uh, for it and it's going to get fixed at some point um, by Valve. If you don't know, Gamescope is maintained by Valve and that's why it's used on the Steam Deck. I forgot to say that before, but that's um, how it is. But that is currently what it is with the bug, uh, with the Steam integration. That will get fixed at some point, but I would just keep it there just in case if you do get a game scope update and then you know that issue will just be fixed. And then if we have a look at some of the other ones, we can see the dash dash adaptive sync, which if you don't know what that is, that is basically VRR. And if you don't know what VRR is, uh, it could be, uh, you may know it by free sync also. Uh, so it's going to basically try and make your frames, uh, you know, as smooth as possible, as sync it up as best as possible so that there's no screen tearing and you get some good latency within that. So if you do enable that, and then I did enable the dash dash immediate flips or dash flips, which means that it's going to try and immediately flip the next frame if it goes over my free sync range. So if I'm running a unlimited FPS, for example, it's going to try and tear 
air or immediately flip to the next frame so then I can get the possible best possible latency within the Wayland um, game scope compositor and then the last one is dash dash mango HUD which if you don't know what mango HUD is it is a FPS overlay in Linux and it's a really good FPS overlay and you can't use the normal mango HUD um, command launch command in Steam you have to use this one for game scope so if you're using game scope you have to use this and there is one bug at the moment with Mango HUD where it won't see the config file of your um, normal Mango HUD config file that you've created in Go Overlay, which is an app for configuring Mango HUD. Uh, it just won't see that and it'll create a temporary one. So when you see Mango HUD, it's going to show the default layout of Mango HUD, um, which is not really a problem necessarily, uh, but it just is a little, little thing that you have to um, just know about, I guess. Just um, a future Linux next year, I forgot to put in the video that you need to do um, this launch command if you want your refresh rate to actually work in the game. So for me, it's uh, 144.0, meaning 144 hertz, and then you have to put in the um, dash lowercase r into this launch command so that the refresh rate can work in the game. And then you do space uh, percent command percent to make sure that this actually gets executed. And uh, one of the issues that people did say about GameScope was that their sensitivity felt um, really off or felt like um, not correct. And I haven't uh, felt that at all when playing my games on stretched res, especially with this. Like this feels extremely fast and I know that's just um, how it is when you play um, stretched res. But as you can see, it is working and the FPS overlay is acting uh, a bit weird on GameScope. That's just how it is. I guess that's just another bug. Um, but you can see that I am getting around like 240, 220 FPS um, and it is working uh, quite well as you can see. There's no real um, issues with this I would say. So the next game that we'll test out is Apex Legends. Uh, as we can see here, we are running the 1680 by 1050, was a, which was a resolution that I used to play a lot on Windows when I was playing Apex Legends. Um, and it's a very nice uh, resolution, I would say. The hitboxes get um, stretched very nicely. And also another thing, when you do launch Gamescope, uh, just make sure that your cursor is on the monitor that you want the game to spawn on. As I know, if you if your cursor is on like another monitor, for example, Gamescope will spawn on that monitor. So just make sure that your cursor is on the monitor that you want the game or application to spawn on. All right, as we can see here, uh, we are now loaded into Apex Legends. The new season just came out. I might play it again. I know there's a lot of random bugs in the game now with the um, Akimbo, I think it was, or the uh, Mozambique with dual wielding. Uh, there's some bugs in that. But as you can see, it is working and the resolution is um, being properly uh, stretched for us. All right, as you can see here, we're now we're actually in the firing range and I had to enable the um, plus FPX max zero so I could get the unlimited um, FPS in the game. And as you can see, yeah, it is working uh, really, really well. There's no real big issues. And when it comes to aiming, uh, I don't really notice. I, can, I guess I can feel the X and Y axis. Um, it feels a bit uh, slower when it comes to um, aiming left to right. I think it is. Yeah, when it comes to aiming left and right, it's a bit slower. I guess. I think it's a bit slow. I think. Yeah, as you can see, it is uh, working extremely well. There's no real um, issues here. And I guess the last um, game that we will test out is Overwatch 2. We're also going to be running it at 1680 uh, by 1050, which is just another common uh, resolution that you can use for stretched res. And um, it's quite um, nice, I would say, when uh, using it. If we do go to training here, uh, we can just um, you know, see how it looks. All right, as we can see here, uh, it is working properly. We're getting about like, I would say 500 FPS-ish with my RX uh, 6700 and my Ryzen 7600. And uh, the stretch res uh, does look pretty good. It feels the exact same as it does in Apex Legends. Uh, says, I think, except my sense, uh, it is a bit high. It's on three, uh, while in Apex, it's on like, I think like 1.6 or something like that, which is a, a bit slower than Overwatch. So this feels a tad bit quicker, but um, not as, 
um, bad, as some other people have said. I think one of the um, issues that people have is if they launch the game, uh, their resolution won't go to 1680 by 1050, and so their um, mouse uh, will feel completely off when moving around. So I would just make sure that when you go into settings and video that you do set it to the resolution that, you, um, that you've specified with the nested resolution, um, and then it should work properly. And I would say that's about it for the video. As you can see, it's working really well. You can 100% play um, these games competitively with Gamescope. You won't get banned. Um, people may think that you'll get banned, and you won't. It's made by Valve, so the chances of you getting banned are very, 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 very slim. Um, it is a like an official package that multiple um, the Steam Deck uses for playing video games. So if that's something that you want to know about, if you'll get banned, uh, the chances are basically none because it's used on the Steam Deck. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I would definitely give it a like. I want to thank uh, my subscribers, of course. If you want to, you can definitely subscribe to the channel. We are like, I think, 5.4k subs, I think, which is quite insane. I'll check my phone right now just to see um, what we are at. Yeah, we are at uh, 5.4k subs, so thank you. And then also um, to my members, of course, thank you for giving me money every month. I really do appreciate it. Uh, of course, you'll get this video um, early, about like five hours early-ish, if I'm able to um, edit the video quick enough. And I would say that's about ending of the video. The conclusion is that GameScript is a really cool tool, and you can use stretch threads, you can use FSR, you can um, also test out HDR stuff, which is very experimental, so you may have issues there but you can definitely test it out and with that i'll see you guys in the next video peace